Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd uh, get together and make a how-to video to install and play on a private World of Warcraft server. What you're going to need to do is, in the description, um, on the page where, where you make your character, it's going to show you a link to get all this right here, except for the time. Alright, so, first thing you're going to need is BitTorrent. There's a download link there, so you can just open up BitTorrent. Now, once you download the link to get the game, after you've installed BitTorrent, it's going to show up in here like one of these. But currently, mine's already installed. So what it's going to be, the name of it actually, is going to be um, the same name as this folder. So you will find that in here. We're just going to pretend that this is American Sniper is a uh, is our World of Warcraft folder. So we're going to hit Open Containing Folder, and then we're going to hit Continue. And it's going to show up all these files that are actually in here. So we're going to pretend that this is, says our World of Warcraft directory here. And we're just going to hit the button over to the left. It's going to actually print us out one. And it's going to already have that folder we were selecting. And pretend this says World of Warcraft. And it's going to say World of Warcraft. We literally just click hold and drag it to our desktop or the directory of where you want to put the game but once that's done we're gonna say that we move that and this is it okay now we're done with BitTorrent if you want to you can actually uh, right click and then uh, remove and then uh, or just stop the torrent or whatever you want to do anyways now that we have our game on our direct uh, or, um, desktop now remember you can put this in programs folder my documents uh, a game folder you have wherever you want to I'm just gonna put it on the desktop for example now what we need to do is uh, we get the launcher that we downloaded from the website as well and we just boom done put the launcher in there now just for convenience I would right click the launcher that we just added into here and I would create shortcut and now we have two of them and we take that shortcut and put it on the desktop now we can rename it to whatever you want to I'm just going to rename it to the lgb.com wow all right now that that's done <coughs> well, there's one more thing we want to do before we start the game and we won't have to do this after we do it once so we'll just right click our world of warcraft folder that we downloaded which is our game and we want to go to properties and then we want to make sure it's for me it doesn't matter but for a lot of people there's been an issue and you need to uncheck that mine's checked it works regardless but you want to uncheck it or that's not what check there we go all right now we hit apply changes and then this is going to pop up and we just hit okay it's going to apply to everything in there takes a second oh and we're done now this can stay on your desktop or you can put it wherever you want to but for right now let's put it on the desktop <coughs> we're gonna double click this which is our launcher and you want to hit file at the top and then go to settings and now we're going to select where um, the launcher is going to send the patches. So we need to select this folder right here. So if it's in your My Documents or whatever, it may say different here. But for right now, it's in my desktop. Now remember, if you have Retail World of Warcraft already installed, this um, is going to auto-select that directory. So you kind of want to make sure that you select this. Otherwise, you're going to overwrite your WTF file which is that bad but it's still a thing you want to try to prevent doing so once this pops up we we'll hit browse select our desktop or wherever you selected your or, or set your game folder for me it's just the desktop and then I'm gonna scroll down until I find there we go World of Warcraft no install blah 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 and just literally click that title bar so now that that's blue we hit okay and then we're going to go over here and save. And once we save it, we're done. What that did was set the directory for our patches to go to for our custom content on the server. And it's also um, changed your 
.wtf, which is going to allow you to log into our server instead of retail World of Warcraft. So, now once we connect here, you're going to launch your game. There we go. And then we, uh, just, you'll notice that, uh, I don't know if it'll say it right off the bat, but it should. You should say blgd.com down here. And you can just... And boom. Yeah. We're all good. Well, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the server. And uh, just if anybody, if you know anybody's having trouble connecting to the server or looking for a private World of Warcraft server, shoot them this link in the video. And uh, have a good day, guys.